back at the airport and ready to fly. Now recently, I lost my Ryanair virginity. Flew them for the very first time. Today, I'm trying one of Europe's other low-cost carriers. It's Vuli, the uh, Spanish equivalent. And I'm flying it from here, Balboa, um, right through to Barcelona. It's only an hour flight, but uh, we'll see what it's like and compare it to uh, my recent Ryanair experience. Except for this one, I haven't gone with all the bells and whistles. I'm just on the standard fare and uh, sitting at the back of the plane. So uh, let's go and check it out. Let's do it together and uh, see how they go. No premium ticket, no premium check-in, and uh, no status with this airline, so uh, it's in the line with everybody else for uh, checking in. It's all good, I'm flying, I'm back in Europe, and uh, it's one of uh, the great things about traveling is uh, the hive of activity at an airport, although standing in line for check-in probably isn't one of the highlights, is it? love seeing these full departure boards back at airports. Uh, if you haven't been to this part of the country, the Basque country in uh, the north of Spain, highly recommend it. Just been uh, spent a few days here exploring San Sebastian and Bilbao, going to the Guggenheim, but uh, uh, Bilbao is so much more than that. It's a great city and San Sebastian is an absolute gem as well. So uh, highly recommend you pay this world, part of the world a visit if you can. That was exactly everything you want an airport security to be. Uh, lots of space, very quick, efficient, friendly staff, and uh, people that seemed to know what they were doing. Uh, Bilbao Airport, you get a big thumbs up, and the travellers here, big thumbs up for me. Well done. Bilbao Airport continued to impress me airside with lots of space, some good dining options, and best of all, great views of the runway in the airport operations which meant, of course, that I spent the next couple of hours looking at the planes and the amazing people that keep this industry moving. Boarding group three, of course, is you get to spend a lot of time watching other people board, hoping that by the time you get on board, that there's still some space in the overhead locker. This is the opposite to a fast and efficient security service. It's always amazed me how long it takes some people to uh, find their seat, or put their bags in the overhead locker, and allow other people to uh, board. Success. No need to stress at all. There's not much to tell you about this cabin, 3x3 three three seating with lights and air vents provided. The legroom was not too bad, and unlike Ryanair, you do get a storage pouch and a bonus coat hook. Burling was advertising they had Wi Fi on board. I went through the process, but sadly, it wasn't working on this flight. Their system did provide flight information though, including letting me know what weather was awaiting me in Barcelona. Uh, 
day of flying to Barcelona and that needs to be celebrated. So uh, cheers, here's to a great flight. Even out of a paper cup, it's all right. And the Horno nuts were delicious. So we've landed in Barcelona and uh, they're disembarking in five row lots. This is the most disciplined disembarkation I've seen throughout the whole COVID period. Uh, a lot of airlines will say, oh, we're disembarking per row, and then as soon as the seatbelt sign comes off, it's a free for all, everybody stands up. But here, everybody's actually obeying the rules. And, uh, yeah, a roll at a time. Very, uh, I suppose, very good to see and uh, surprise me a little bit. So the rows in front of us can disembark and then it's happening. Yeah, we haven't been called up yet, so the rows behind us, we're still nicely seated. Oh, except for that one guy. There's always one, but there's always one person. That was a really good flight. I enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Welcome to Barcelona. Now I do think the guy sitting beside me thought I was a complete nutter filming a Berlin flight and uh, getting all getting all excited about uh, a one hour domestic flight in Spain, but hey, that's what you do when you're uh, filming these things for a flight review. I'm looking forward now to going to explore Barcelona, joining one of our groups, one of our Spain Porsche Morocco groups. All of the people boarding, waiting to board this flight now are uh, also wondering who's this nutter talking into a camera there they are there hey look thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment and uh, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel where there's a whole lot of other flight reviews and more on the way if you do see me in the airport talking to myself into a camera come and say hi in the meantime as always happy travels